Getting into space. Many people assume that the main object of using such massive rockets to get them into space is to get them high enough, overcoming the pull of Earth's gravity. Whilst this is part of the object of a rocket, the rocket, shortly after takeoff, leans over to gather horizontal speed as well as altitude. It's this speed which is fundamental to most missions. It's also when this lean takes place that the rocket enters a potentially dangerous part of mission. So, can we achieve the altitude, control and horizontal velocity by another method other than with a rocket? There are three types of craft propellants which we could use and each have their own advantages and disadvantages. Rockets are the most versatile since they can use both inside and outside an atmosphere. They can be also any size from the tiny to the incredibly massive. The acceleration they produce is rapid, they can be used in anything from thrusters to the huge Atlas rockets. The problems are when they go wrong the effects are devastating and the power to weight ratio means they have to be huge to get a significant payload into orbit. Jet engines produce rapid acceleration and are fairly efficient. When they're combined with a wing vehicle, they can obtain a high altitude from a relatively lightweight power source. Disadvantage with a jet engine is they need air to operate. Generally, the thinner the air, the poorer their performance. They also have a limit on their ultimate speed. The third type of engine is an ion drive, which works by accelerating tiny parts of matter to incredibly high speeds, pushing them out the back of the vehicle, pushing the vehicle forwards in the process. The advantage of this type of engine is that it's relatively safe to operate and incredibly efficient when operated in space. The disadvantage is the acceleration is slow and the engines rely upon continual thrust over an extended period of time rather than a sudden push. They also don't work well inside an atmosphere. So, if we need to use a pre-cooled jet engine to take the craft to a high altitude, then allow an ion drive to take over, and when in space use small rocket thrusters to alter position, we could have a new method for space travel. The advantages would be that the craft would be cheap, light, reusable and safe. One drawback would be that the time required for each mission would be longer than the current rocket-based missions. What do you think?